What kind of king and man was Cheongju? The reformative king, a scholastic prodigy, and the genius ruler of the Korean history. He promoted the new renaissance of the Joseon dynasty. He was the one and only king of Joseon that attempted to abolish the slavery system. There are many books regarding the mystery behind his death. Some say he died because of too much stress. Some say he was poisoned. Did the character Dogim really exist? Judging from the record, there is a verse in which Lady Hagyam praised Dogim for her beautiful face. This is her handwriting, and in the lower right corner is her seal. Was Hong dong no a real person? According to the record, he was known for his beautiful appearance. This video is about Jongjo, the crown prince Lee San who became an idol of modern Korean media. He's a romantic king from the Red Sleeve, the Korean drama. King Jongjo's story has been often revisited by a contemporary Korean movie directors and drama writers many times. In this video, I want to address the questions like How true are the plots in the drama? Were the drama characters real? If they are based on real history, how accurately is the drama portrayed? Before I go on, I must first tell you a little about the history recording and registry culture of the Joseon, the last dynasty and royal family of Korea. The people of Joseon were obsessed with recording everything related to the king and the royal family. It is said that the king was always accompanied by archivists wherever he went. So the archivists recorded almost everything from the king's orders, edicts, the laws he makes, and even to the most trivial matters like small jokes, mistakes, how he laughed or how he lost his temper, and so on. The things that cannot be written down have been left in pictures like these. It is said that the king could never spy on the records, and if the king insisted on going through the records, the archivist even recorded the king's such an appropriate and rude action. The reason why they keep this record is to pass on the history as it is to the future generations. So as a result, we have the veritable records of the Joseon dynasty which were kept from 1392 to 1865. They comprise 1,893 volumes and are thought to cover the longest continual period of a single dynasty in the world. It is now the national treasure of Korea enlisted in UNESCO's Memory of the World Registry. The record has been digitized since 2006 by the National Institute of Korean History and is now available on the internet with modern Korean translation in Hangul. After finishing the digitization, they're going to translate this into English by the year 2033. What kind of king and man was Cheongju, Isan? King Cheongju Isan, the 22nd ruler of the Joseon dynasty of Korea, was born in 1752, died in 1800. He was the son of Crown Prince Sado and Lady Hegyong. He's known as King Jongjo the Great, the reformative king, a scholastic prodigy, and the genius ruler of the Korean history. He promoted the new renaissance of the Joseon dynasty. He made various reforms throughout his reign, notably establishing Kyujanga, a royal library. The primary purpose of Kyujanga was to improve the cultural and political stance of Joseon and to recruit gifted officers to help lead the nation. Jongjo also spearheaded bold new social initiatives, including opening government positions to those who were previously barred because of their low social class. What's more amazing about him is that he was the one and only king of Joseon that attempted to abolish the slavery system. But he died too early to realize that. In 1800, Chongju died suddenly under uncertain circumstances at the age of 47, without seeing much of his life's work come to fruition. There are many books regarding the mystery behind his death, and speculation as to the cause of his death continues even today. Some say he died because of too much stress, some say he was poisoned. I personally believe the noble class aristocrats that opposed his desire to free the slaves have part in his death, but that's just my personal opinion. Did the character Dogim really exist? She can be found in many parts of the record in the King Jongjo's era. The future royal consort, the most beloved concubine of Jongjo, was born on August 6, 1753. 
she was a year younger than Jeongju. As portrayed in the drama, she was a palace court woman who served as a maid in the living quarter of the crown prince, and later became Jeongju's most beloved concubine. However, their first encounter was at Lady Hagyong's residence. After Crown Prince Sado died, Lady Hagyong and her young son Yi San left the royal palace to live with Lady Hagyong's family. Ta Gim was a daughter of Lady Hagyong's family steward. It is said that two met for the first time as playmates. Judging from the record, there is a verse in which Lady Hagyong praised Ta Gim for her beautiful face. Perhaps Ta Gim was actually beautiful. In 1762, at the age of 10, Dogim entered the royal palace as a handmaid of Lady Hegel. Did she really do a book transcription work? According to the veritable record, in 1773, Dogim, alongside Princess Cheongyeon, Princess Changsun, and her fellow court women Yonghee, Kyunghee, and Bogyeon, transcribed the classic novel. To Korean Hangul. This transcription work was done at her age 21. So, all her friends in the drama were real people as well. This is her handwriting. And in the lower right corner is her seal. She really did have gorgeous handwriting. Let's take a moment to see Jeongjo's handwriting. That's because this was written when he was five. Let's see the ones from his later years. Handwriting is one of his many merits. This little part tells a little about his character. Did you really refuse the king's propose? The record says she did refuse him twice. However, the king did not give up so easily. After the third propose, he finally took her as his concubine. At the time, it was unacceptable for a court woman to refuse the king, and it was even more unusual for the king to patiently wait for the court woman, who kept on rejecting him. He seems to have respected her as an equal person. How did she die? Four months after the death of her son, Togim died of a disease during the last month of her fifth pregnancy. The unborn child died with her. King Jongjo wrote her an epitaph where he described his grief and declared his love for her. It was said that Dagim was the only woman he loved amongst his wife. Did the king really mourn her death? According to the record, after Dagim's death, the king did not make appearance at the royal audience chamber for 20 days. His courtiers appealed many times so he would return to take care of the state's affairs. From this, people speculate her death was an unbearable pain for him. Was Hong dong no a real person? He was born in 1748. He was four years older than Jeongjo. He started his career as a tutor of the crown prince and later became the most trusted advisor and close confidant to Jeongjo when he was a crown prince Yi San. After Yi San ascended the throne as Jeongjo, Hong was promoted to chief inspector, chief of the royal guard, and chief secretary due to his skill at politics and investigation. He sent his little sister to the palace as one of Jeongjo's concubines at her age 13. He hoped to expand his influence by being a close relative to the king's future heir. But in the end, he was swallowed by the desire for power he was exiled for the rest of his life. According to the record, he was known for his beautiful appearance. If you Google for his portrait, this is what you will get. But in fact, there is no extant portrait of him left until now. What kind of king and man was Yongjo, the grandfather of Yi San? Yongjo's reign lasted nearly 52 years and was marked by his persistent efforts to reform the taxation system of Joseon. He earned a positive reputation in Korean history due to his sincere efforts and love for the people of Korea. His reign was also marked by the highly controversial execution of his son, Prince Sado, in 1762. 
He was known to have paranoia that drove people around him into fear, including his own son, the Crown Prince Hado. Historians say his low self-esteem and obsession for perfection is due to the fact that he was born from his low-born mother, who was originally lower than the palace court women. Was Zhongzhou's father, Crown Prince Hado, really a mad prince? According to the veritable record, as a young boy, Crown Prince Hado was good at drawing, writing poems, martial arts, and hunting. He was not fond of learning academic subjects. His such characteristics were not considered suitable for the king's virtue in the Joseon dynasty, and his father was always dissatisfied with his son. Historians believe that his madness was attributed to his father's paranoia and inferiority complex. He was often scolded and scorned by his father, King Yongjo, for not being perfect. Because of such mental abuse that started in his adolescent age, it appears that he eventually developed a mental illness. The record says he killed about 100 palace men and women, he even beheaded his servant with a sword and carried the hat around. After long conflicts and years of mental illness, the crown prince Hado was executed by his father, King Yongjo. He was sentenced to be kept in the small rice chest in the hot summer of 1762, with no water and food. Eight days later, the crown prince Hado died in the chest. His young son Isan had to witness the death of his father. There are many scenes in the drama where young Isan is afraid of his grandfather. Witnessing the grandfather kill his father is believed to have caused tremendous trauma to the young boy Isan.